All right, welcome back, Final Fantasy XIV. We're back here in Outland, Dreams of Law. We got Tankard back yesterday, but I think he lost an eye in the slipstream. We might have to go and find it. His eyes are not white like hers, which is too bad. So Outland, Dreams of the Lost. Maybe because she was in there longer. I don't know. Alphabet is lost in thought, doubtless uh, ruminating on the implications of your encounter with the Warriors of Darkness. Blessed with the power of the Echo and driven to pull down primals, despite his declaration that they walk a different path, I struggle to see how their goals conflict with ours. Nor is that the only oddity. I find it passing strange that such exceptional individuals should have wholly escaped our notice until now. Surely we would have heard rumors and attempted to recruit them to our cause. I recall no such adventurers, and I would not soon forget their like, nor would any of us, I think. One of our primary duties was to scour the city-states for promising candidates, which is how Yana and Papalinio found Tickman. Ah, the memories. Seemed like only yesterday that you slew your first primal. Speaking of which, I had the distinct impression that it was not the first time that a band of merry men and women had killed a god. I labor to believe that a band of Paternally gifted adventurers has been traveling the land, slaying primals without our knowledge. It would imply gross negligence on our part. Speculation will avail us not. There is far too much we do not know. For the present, we must needs concentrate on what we do know, namely that Lord Ravenna is no more. Vidfernar must be informed. The news may be may render her more receptive to Sir Alchemist's invitation. Once you seem to have affairs here well in hand, I shall take my leave. Simply being in the vicinity of this colony has given me a stinking headache. If you have need of me, I shall be with Master Mayota. I'll beg her assistance with the search for Minifilia. Wait, Minifilia is missing? Oh, she escaped with Tickman. I shall explain on the road. Much has happened in your absence. So we're out of here. Let's go back and speak with the dragon. Oh, nice. It put me back here. Let's uh, get out of question is, can we get in? I don't think we can get into the second floor. Can we? Oh, we can. We can. Look at that. Hey, Vid. Talk to me for a minute. I had not thought to see thee again so soon, mortal. Thou seekest the night, know that she has long since departed for Ishgard. My thanks, Vidnif. But it was not for her that we came. We bring good tidings for you and yours. Lord Ravinia, who had been summoned by the Gunath, has again been laid low. Truly, once more you mortals have succeeded where well, my own kin did fail. You have our deepest thanks. Oh, what could we... Would that we could take credit. The god failed by another's hand. Another. Revelation upon revelation. Regardless, it is cause for celebration. The North will have no choice but to withdraw. 
But to another matter, I have tidings for thee as well regarding this guardian's invitation. As promised, I brought the matter to my sire, hearken to his answer now. For a thousand years have I mourned my beloved, who gave her life to forge a peace thy king betrayed. Such was my lot, until the child of Ishgar came unto me. For want of warmth, she wrapped herself in a dream. Yet the world will remember her deeds. For truth she fought, for justice she shot, sinned. For redemption she sacrificed and became as light. To follow one's heart, to have faith in one's convictions, be it for will, or be it for woe, such is the folly and the glory of man and of dragon. He hath entrusted the choices to us, and we have made it. We will keep faith with you who walk in the light, and you accept Sir Ackerman's invitation. Let it be known that I, Ben Bernard, shall journey unto Ishgard on behalf of my people. You are honored to receive your answer, and we will convey your words to our allies without delay. It is happening, you Sally. Would that you were here to see it. Even as the Scions celebrated the return of a long-lost friend, honorable men plotted to deprive them of another. Honorable men, to whom Sir Emmerich was no hero but a scheming patricide. Honorable men, who would fain wash the paving stones of foundation with the tyrant's blood. Honorable men, whose knife in the dark was the spark which set the city aflame and who sang as it burned. We got taken down with a common steak knife out the kitchen. Sit back. See if we can see his blood on the ground. Man, he just got stabbed just like that. That's how quick he can be. That's why cops should always have their guns drawn at, at like, everywhere. People can take you out that quick. Banquet. So you slew a handful of primals, chatted with the Emperor of Garlemade, uncovered the truth behind a thousand year war, thwarted a Megalomanical Archbishop's ambitions, then rode home on the back of the Father of Dragons. Does that about sum it up? Yeah, yeah it does. Fortunately, the journey afforded us ample time to read Banquet on recent events. It's never dull with me, Banquet, never dull. Right, let us not keep Sir Ackermanic waiting. Are you quite well, Thanker? Yes, yes, quite well. Forgive me. You have given me rather a lot to digest. This whole affair with Ishgardians and Dravanians, and our friends nowhere to be found. To see there is no end to our troubles. We can but face them head on. 
one at a time. For now, we must apply ourselves to our allotted task and leave the others to theirs. Remember, Tankard, we found you as they found me. In time, we will find Yada and Papamilo and Minifilia as well. These troubles will soon be but a memory, one which we will look back on together. Pray do not misunderstand. <coughs> I did not mean to imply that it would be otherwise. I merely wish that I had rejoined our great adventure at one of its more triumphal moments. Despite your recent accomplishments, mood here is less than celebratory. But I have no doubt that we will enjoy many more glorious victories soon enough. And you may rest assured that I will pay, play my part in them to the very hilt. I know you will. So then, to the Congression. Or something y'all don't know. Y'all didn't hear that narrator just tell us a story? Man, oh man. You're gonna be in for a surprise. Oh well, look, I'm up to over a million. Gil again. Nice. Only I can keep it that way. This is a dark day for the Temple Knights, but I have faith that we shall overcome this trial. Oh, did he die? And that little knife wound was it poisoned. Hold up. Oh good, you're back. Things got a bit heated while you were away. Bet they did. You have returned. In this, at least, the fates are kind. Greetings, First Commander. Pleases me to inform you that Benavir has accepted Sir Akinet's invitation. She has? These are glad tidings indeed. Would that the Lord Commander were here to hear them. Ah, is he otherwise engaged? I sleeping off a knife to the gut. What? What happened? Will he live? The Chicharoons tell me that he will make a full recovery. What had Lord Epnot and Lord Arya not been on hand when Assassin struck, he would not have been so fortunate. For a mercy, they subdued the fiend before he could land, telling low. Attack was just the beginning, though. Not long after, buildings all around the city, including several bars, burst into flame. Bastards caught us completely by surprise. We've been down since the fires, but for every one we put out, it seems like two more start up. Casualties are mountain, especially in the broom. This plain these fires were started by the assassins, conspirators. Till they have been rounded up, there would be no end to this. Will you help us find them? Oh, you better believe it. That's what I do. Then let us be about it. Dreams of the loss. Second thought, we're going to take a break for the day. We'll come back tomorrow and start rounding people up and executing them. But you know what? Ain't nobody got time for these people that want to destroy everything. If they want to talk, we can talk. Difference opinions, okay. You start destroying things, you're done, son. You're done. So, until tomorrow, y'all take care. <laughs>